Hey guys, welcome to another video. Asib here. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to have a look at a snapshot that I created a few days ago for high level. So I created this snapshot for my clients, uh, for those who I'm running Facebook ads. So I created this snapshot to qualify the leads we are generating from Facebook, really, because the quality of the Facebook ad leads is not really good comparing to Google or any other ad platform. So I've put in place something that will automatically qualify the leads before sending the lead notification to the client saying that, hey, you've got a lead. So if the lead is not qualified or if the lead just ghosted us, we will just avoid that lead and not send the notification to the client. This process is super simple and super effective. So let's actually have a look at what we are trying to do. And I'll walk you through the workflows that I've uh, that I've got in the snapshot. So make sure you subscribe and let's start looking at what I have implemented so far. So the idea is to pre qualify the leads coming from Facebook lead form ads, and the process will be 100% automatic. And this is almost like any other plug and play system where you just need to install a snapshot for the client go high level account or if you are the business owner this will be your go high level sub account where you need to install it and have it run on autopilot the system pretty much takes care of everything the lead that comes through the lead form ads receive auto follow-ups through a three-step follow-up process and we will look into what that three-step follow-up is uh, in high level where we ask the lead if they'd like a quote or estimate because if you don't immediately follow up with the leads that are coming in, they're going to die there. I mean, the lead dies there. It, it's just how it is. You know, the, the quality is like all over the place. So you need to make sure that you are you're actively participating in, uh, in the follow up process through an uh, like an automation. Right. So that's the entire uh, goal here. So if interested, this thing automatically triggers an SMS notification. So if the lead is interested in a quote or an estimate, the system will send the notification to the client through an SMS. And uh, the client has to basically call the lead as soon as possible, because again, these leads are really time sensitive. So they might as well forget that they even filled out a form like that on Facebook. So yeah, the follow up process needs to be spot on. And if any lead calls, there's a missed call text back automation that takes care of that call finally the leads that are qualified will be sent back to facebook ads through conversion api as signals so facebook ads can generate more leads like that so that's the entire idea of what we're trying to do and implementing this snapshot i mean this process has been implemented by other people, although I, I don't think you've seen a deep down, you know, tutorial of how to do this or how to implement this. So I'm, I'm trying to give you that through this video. So this process will increase the lead quality by 21% and reduce the cost per lead or the amount you're spending per lead generation uh, will be reduced by 16%. So that's a huge thing. And it only takes about 30 minutes to configure. Let's start looking at what we've got here. So First of all, let me show you the custom values I am using. So these are pretty much all the custom values. Business name, owner name, owner phone number, potential value, request type, and service name. So business name, owner name, owner phone number, you already know what that is. Potential value is the value of the service. Basically, that's all. So in this case, it's $1,000. Request type, is it a quote or an estimate? That's all. That's the value. So service name starting with A or N. So it has to start with an article to make sense because when this custom value is replaced by this value over here, it, the sentence has, has to, you know, make sense. That's why I'm going like N air conditioning, all junk removal, you know, N HVAC, you know, all those things. So let's start looking at the automation. So in the automation part, we have a folder consisting of three workflows. That's all. Let's start looking at the first one. So when you integrate the Facebook lead form with this account, and I will link to this video, how to, uh, you know, how to integrate Facebook lead forms. So I have a video about that also about the conversion API thing. I have another video for that, how to implement conversion API with high level. So you can send good lead data back to, uh, back to Facebook ads. So make sure you watch those if you haven't already. So when the lead form is submitted, we have a pipeline called leads and a pipeline stage called new leads. So a tile will be or an opportunity will be automatically created in that pipeline in that stage. We're adding a new tag called exists or uh, and also Facebook lead. 
and I'll, I'll explain why this we are adding this tag wait half a minute and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our first follow-up the first follow-up basically says hi this is so these are all games of custom values that's why it's so important to fill out all the custom values so uh, business name thank you for messaging me on Facebook for you know this and reply yes to make sure we have the right number so it, it has to be like this it has to be in such a format that allows or you know makes people reply the the word yes and wait for one hour just uh just for the reply if the reply is positive or if if they replied yes you know we're checking for if they replied for yes or just something positive yeah or you know a typo so high level will automatically see if it's a positive reply if that's a positive reply just create another tile called agree to call and then send a notification to the business owner that's all that's all we're doing if it's negative the lead dies there so we are not doing anything if the lead did not reply and it's been an hour we're gonna send a, a new sms hey if you still need you know a custom value service name which will be uh, an air conditioning or a junk removal please reply yes and let's chat so what happens is we wait for another 40 minutes for the person to reply or the lead to reply if the reply status is yes or any anything positive then it creates an opportunity in agreed to call just like the first one and then sends the notification to the business owner if not it dies there so as a third follow-up what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask again and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just copy this entire thing from here and paste it over here so wait for another 40, 40 minutes for the third follow-up and if it's positive then that's fine if it's nothing or negative we don't do anything so the lead dies here right so that's our three-step follow-up system for uh for the new leads coming from facebook lead form ads so that's the first workflow the second workflow is about missed call text back so in this one we are checking uh whenever someone calls like if they receive the sms there's a chance they might call that number so if they call you don't have to receive it but it will it will take care of uh, that call or that missed call by triggering if this is an incoming call and if the call status is busy cancelled or no answer what's going to happen is it's going to check if it already exists in our system so if they already exist that means they went through workflow one that means they have a tag called exists because we added that tag right so it checks if there's a tag called exists if it does not have that tag we will just uh, avoid this process of creating a new contact and creating a new tile in the opportunity so we will just go to this delay so if they called they, we just wait for half minute and we just send them this message hi sorry there did you want to get a quote or something if so reply yes so the same thing you know the drill right so this also goes through a two-step follow-up process that's all that's happening in this missed call text back workflow and let me see so the third one is if they replied yes th th that means they wanted the quote right so they are a good lead so we are just checking if they replied they were moved to the new stage called agreed to call right in the leads pipeline so we are just checking if they are moved whether automatically or manually it doesn't matter to agree to call we are sending the data to FB conversion API as a signal. And again, I have a separate video covering this entire thing, how to how this works and how to implement this, how to connect this with Facebook ads through conversion API. So make sure you watch that if you haven't already. So that's pretty much it. That's what we are doing with um, with this new snapshot. Again, this is super simple and super effective. I've been using this for clients, trust me, and I'm getting results. So make sure you implement all these workflows and i hope you understood how it works so you can implement it for yourself or your client and make sure you subscribe if you like this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you mm -hmm.